Link TV, connecting you to the world. Link TV is viewer supported. Watch more at linktv.org. Today on Earth Focus, a team of scientists discovers Mozambique's Mount Mabu, one of the last unexplored places on Earth, and finds a wealth of wildlife species scientists haven't seen before. Coming up on Earth Focus. Meet Mount Mabu. You'll be among the first to do so. This remote forest in Mozambique was one of the few unexplored places remaining on the planet until 2005 when scientists found it with the help of Google Earth, a computer mapping program. Because Mount Mabu has been isolated for so long, unique species have evolved here and adapted specifically to this environment. The Darwin Initiative, a conservation program supported by the UK's Royal Botanic Gardens Q, set out to explore the area with Mozambique's Institute of Agricultural Research. What scientists found amazed them, previously unknown species of plants and animals, including three species of butterfly, two species of chameleon, a new species of snake, and a new crab. And there may be more, lots more. The Darwin Initiative team did a follow-up trip to Mount Mabu in June 2009. Journalist Jeffrey Barbie joined them and filmed this report. This is Mount Mabu, an isolated mountain that rises over 5,500 feet above sea level in Mozambique's remote north. Discovered only four years ago, Mount Mabu is home to the largest rainforest in Southern Africa and hidden in this forest are plants and animals completely unknown to science. The Darwin Initiative team, led by Dr. Julian Bayliss in partnership with Mozambique's Department of Agricultural Research, returned to Mount Mabu in June 2009 for their last research trip. Uh, well, at the moment we're on the top of Mount Mabu in northern Mozambique, looking down over uh, the Mabu forest. What is so special about Mabu is, is just opportunistically collecting uh, the animals that I come across in the forest. Um, it's what, what, is most, what is remarkable is, is, is a high majority of these are turning out to be new um, species. We have found a new one of these uh, from Mount Namuli. I came here specifically because, on this trip, because I was hunting for a new species of chameleon. There are two chameleons that we know of. In, in the forest. One is a small pygmy chameleon, which is, again, possibly a new species, but is locally very common. Wait, wait, wait. Is that its tail? It's, it's no, a baby that's... off there to the, the, the new... No, no, wait a second. That's no. not a tail. That's a new species. So this is a, a, a new, probably a new species. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. See that long tail all wound up? They have these lovely rose coils of uh, kind of a palm, a fern fond tails. Finding new species is uh, very important uh, towards the conservation of Mabu. Uh, the more new species you can find uh, that are only found uh, in Mabu, on, Ma on Mount Mabu and in the, in the forest of Mabu, um, basically uh, all add um, towards uh, the justification for the conservation of this area. Some people take years, um, maybe a lifetime, to found one, find one new species and describe that. Um, as a young scientist, it's it's, it's a dream to find a new species and uh, at the moment being in this place anything can be, be new. It looks like a turtle but it's a fish. This is a new species, this is a freshwater crab which is just found in these mountain streams uh, 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 and which do really like to fight. The Crab I just opened on the other side, which was the same size, had 12 crabs in it. Just from one little pool this size. Anyway, bye bye. Here he goes. This this little butterfly here that Martin has just brought in, Martin Hassan has just brought in today, is a completely new butterfly to science. It's for no, just... Spots near the base of the wings on the hind wing. Uh, so this is quite unlike anything else. I suppose every scientist has a eureka moment. That's 
scientifically I came up as a scientist with my scientist hat on. This is wow. The Darwin Project finished its work at Mount Mabu in June 2009, but not without laying plans for the conservation and protection of this long lost Eden. The government of Mozambique remains committed to protecting the site and the rare species of wildlife that exist there. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world. To learn more, visit linktv.org.